What's going on guys, David here with you. Today I was working on a Samsung dryer. The customer called and said that even when she turned the power off to the unit, even on the display, that the dryer would still be running. No heat, but the drum would turn and the lights would be off on the display. So uh, she had to unplug it. So I wanted to make sure that the control board here was fine. So I unplugged the two harnesses here and then plug the unit back in it was still wanting to run so i took the front panel off i wanted to make sure that the heating element was not grounded out uh, because this could cause this sometimes i've seen it in other dryers so I went down here check the continuity on the uh, heating element make sure it was not grounded out i got a video on that but um next thing i knew was going to be the control board the main uh, power control board here we actually took the panel off diagnosed it uh, and come to uh, realize that it needed to be replaced i'll show you how to actually pull the top off and get to this here in the next clip you want to know how to get into this well back here there will be a screw there and a screw there now your top will be on here but once you move those screws that allow you to pop this top off this thing like this, you'd pull up on it. And what that'll do, that'll give you the ability to um, expose the screws that's right here holding this control panel. And now on this unit, it didn't have the screws holding it down. Um, you could have just popped it off by lifting this up here. Now you'll have to be careful because on the bottom of this control panel is little tabs that stick in the metal. They are very easy to break, so be careful when lifting up on this control here. panel. And this, this control panel come off and then expose these wires that's right here that you need to unplug. So once I unplug this control board right here, I plug it in, the dryer still ran. So like I said, double checked and made sure that the um, element was not grounded out by checking continuity on that. You can see in my other videos. And then, so we know that this is gonna be the main source. I would like to go in more detail on diagnosing this board, but I was in a customer's house and I was short on time and I didn't have time to film. I just wanted to give you these quick tips on how to unplug that board and also checking that element. That was some of the key factors in diagnosing this unit. Well, hey guys, this is David with DC Appliance Repair checking in with you, bringing you another video. Be sure to show some support by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a part of the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video.